the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this time of prayer tonight. Um, this evening is the first Vespers of the Solemnity of the Assumption. Uh, like all solemnities, it's such a big day that we have two evenings, two Vespers, the first tonight and the second tomorrow. This is a wonderful time when we commemorate, when we celebrate Our Lady's Assumption into Heaven, her being taken up, body and soul, into Heaven at the end of her life, uh, for her in glory, and we hope to follow where she has gone before us. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Hail, Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, Guide of the wanderer here below. Thrown on life's search, we claim thy care. Save us from peril and from war. Mother of Christ, star of the sea, Pray for the wanderer, pray for me. O gentle, chaste, and spotless maid, we sinners make our prayer through thee. Remind thy Son, that he has paid the price of our iniquity. Virgin most pure, star of the sea, pray for the sinner, pray for me. Sojourn us in this veil of tears, 
to the blessed advocate we cry. Pity us, sorrows, come off his, and soothe with hope a misery. Refuge in grief, star of the sea, pray for the mourner, pray for me. And while to him who reigns above, in Godhead one, in persons three, the source of life, of grace, of love, homage we pay on bended knee. To the bright queen, star of the sea, pray for thy children, pray for me. Christ ascended into heaven. He prepared there an immortal place for his most chaste mother. Alleluia. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory, who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When Christ ascended into heaven, he prepared there an immortal place for his most chaste mother, Alleluia. The gates of paradise were closed to all men because of Eve, but they have been opened again through the Virgin Mary. Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like grumps. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not thought, taught them his decrees. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. The gates of paradise were closed to all men because of Eve, but they have been opened again.
through the Virgin Mary. Alleluia. The Virgin Mary has been exalted high above the heavens. Come, let us all glorify Christ the King, whose kingdom has no end. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ, his purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Virgin Mary has been exalted high above the heavens. Come, let us glorify Christ the King, whose kingdom has no end. Those whom God called, those whom God predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. Mary has been assumed into heaven. The angels rejoice. They sing for joy and praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Behold, all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me. Alleluia. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. 
the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Behold, all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me. Alleluia. Let us praise God the Father, who chose Mary as the mother of his Son, and wanted all generations to call her blessed. With confidence we pray. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Father, you did great things for the Virgin Mary, and brought her body and soul to the glory of heaven. Fill the hearts of your children with the hope of Christ's glory. Through the prayers of Mary, our mother, heal the sick, comfort the sorrowful, pardon sinners, grant peace and salvation to all. You favoured Mary with the fullness of grace. Bestow on all men your overflowing blessings. May your church be united, heart and soul, held fast by love. And may your faithful be joined in continuous prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Father, you exalted the Virgin Mary and crowned her Queen of Heaven. May the dead enter your kingdom and rejoice with your saints forever. We have our prayer requests for this evening. From David and Mary. For their daughter-in-law Jill. Who has just been discharged from hospital. And is continuing to receive treatment. And making slow progress. We pray for her recovery. The request of Jan. We pray for Daniel, a young man who is very unhappy. We pray that he will get the help he needs. At the request of Elizabeth, we pray for Agnes, who is in hospital in Miri, Sarawak. Pray for all the doctors and carers available to assist her. Pray that she will have a swift recovery. We pray for Gemma, who is picking up the pieces after of a broken marriage. We pray that she may return to the Catholic faith. We pray for James, who is very ill, that the Lord will bless him and bring him a quick recovery. We 
pray for Anthony Smith, whose funeral is next Thursday. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. We pray also for his family at this difficult time, that the Lord will comfort them. We remember also those who have died recently. Terry White, Beatrice, known as Betty Crosby, and Wendy Salguero, and also for Frank, who died today. We remember also Father Charles Dolman and Father Vincent Maxwell, priests of this diocese whose anniversaries are today. We commend all the dead to you, Lord, asking your mercy for them and that you will welcome them into your heavenly kingdom. We pray for our diocese with our diocesan prayer. Lord, the word who is life, may all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, so that through a growth in understanding and courage, and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us. For you are Lord for ever and ever. Amen. So we unite all our prayers with our Lord, saying the prayer that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you crowned the Blessed Virgin Mary on the day of her Assumption with a glory beyond compare. You had looked on her lowliness and had made her the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son. Grant that by his prayers, grant that by her prayers, we may be saved by the mystery of your redemption and share with her in the glory of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in, go in peace. Gina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve, a te clamamos, exoles filii eve, a te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Eo ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculas, at nos converte. Et Iesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, 
Nobis past hoc exilium ostende. O Clement, O Pia, O Dulcis, Vigo Maria.